Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the water purification practical and that's to do with C12 unit using resources. So it's really in two stages. I've got here three samples of water, river water, sea water and some good old tap water and what we're going to do first of all is have a look at the amount of dissolved salts in those samples of water and we're going to do that by evaporating the water to see what salt is left behind. The second part of the practical is looking at how we can purify that water by using simple distillation. To find out how much dissolved substances are in the seawater, I'm going to evaporate the water and see how much dissolved salts are left behind. So the first thing I'm going to do is to find the mass of this watch glass and I'll write the mass down 50.93 grams and I'm going to place it on top of a water bath and then I've got here four centimeters cubed sample of the sea water which I'm going to pour into the watch glass that's above the water bath and then I'm going to leave that and the idea is that the water will evaporate and leave behind any dissolved salts that are in that sample of seawater. We can see now that the water has evaporated from the sample of seawater and it's left behind any dissolved salts on the watch glass. So I'm going to turn the Bunsen burner off, let it cool down and then we're going to work out how much of those dissolved salts were in that sample of water. Now that the watch glass has cooled I'm going to take it off the water bath and it's important that we dry underneath the watch glass with a paper towel just in case there's any condensation underneath there from the steam from the water bath and if I re-weigh the watch glass the mass should have gone up which it has to 52.78 grams so to find the mass of salt I do 52.78 grams take away 50.93 grams and that gives me 1.85 grams of salt in that four centimeters cubed sample of seawater. We're now going to try and use simple distillation to extract pure water from that sample of seawater. So I'm now carrying out simple distillation on a sample of seawater. So the seawater is in the flask here and as it's boiling away only the water is evaporating and the salt and any other dissolved chemicals are being left behind in the flask. So as the water vapour comes up here, it will hit the cold delivery tube and you can see condensation forming here as that water vapour cools and it will come out into this boiling tube here. The boiling tube sat in a beaker of very cold water just to make sure that any steam coming through condenses and you can see we are collecting quite a lot of water in there now. So what I could then do on the seawater is exactly the same as we did before, take a sample of it I could place it on the watch glass above a water bath, evaporate the water and see that we are left with pure water. And remember a pure substance is just one element or one compound. So if this is pure water in here, what we should be able to see is that when we evaporate it there will be no salt left on that um, watch glass. So today we've seen how we can use evaporation to leave behind any dissolved salts that may be in a sample of water and we've also seen how you can use simple distillation to purify that water sample. If you found the video useful, please remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.